today's class we'll prove a theorem based on the disconnectivity of a graph a graph which is not connected is called disconnected graph connected graph means there is at least one path between every pair of vertices if it is not connected then it is disconnected now theorem states a graph g is disconnected if and only if its vertex set v can be partitioned into two disjoint non empty subsets say v1 v2 such that there exists no edge in g whose one end vertex is in v1 and another vertex is in v2 so we'll prove this theorem states disconnectivity see i have to prove both the ways disconnectivity I mean disconnected graph implies two non empty subsets non empty subsets say v1 and v2 and no edge in g whose one end vertex is in see this is an edge in g then whose one end vertex is in v1 and another in v2 this condition is not true so one way disconnected implies there is two partition of vertices such that any edge no edge in g whose one end vertex is in v1 and another in v2 the other way i have to prove i'm taking two partitions of the vertices as v1 and v2 they are disjoint means uh, there is no edge in g whose one end vertex is in v1 and another in v2 i'm assuming this and i'm proving proving that if there is such partition then that g is disconnected graph okay this is the statement so i'll take up first part as this one two non empty subsets of vertices v1 and v2 and i'm proving that if that is the case then graph g is disconnected i'll take that part first okay suppose there is a partition in g of vertex set as say this is a vertex set i'm taking subsets of this vertex set as v1 and v2 okay these are two partitions of uh, vertex set v now i'll consider one vertex in v1 and vertex a in v1 and another vertex b in v2 okay vertex a belongs to v1 and vertex b belongs to v2 what i claim is there is no path between a and b because the if there is a path from a to b then that path should contain an edge connecting a vertex v1 to a vertex in v2 which is against my assumption that v1 v2 is a partition and they are disjoint of course i'm considering but there is no edge in g whose one end vertex is in v1 and another in v2 what i'm claiming is there is no path between a and b no path between the vertices a and b see for that if i draw like this say this is a subset to v1 let me call there are some vertices and the vertex set v2 there are few more vertices okay they don't have any connectivity i'm saying there is no edge in g which joins the vertex of v1 to vertex of v2 okay so they are disjoint in fact edge disjoint Uh, so i'll consider say vertex a over here over here say vertex b over here okay now 
what I'm claiming is no path between A and B. Of course, since I have mentioned that vertex V1 and no, vertex at V1 and V2 are disjoint. I have already taken it. I know this like that and I'm taking vertex at A, uh, vertex A in V1 and vertex B in V2. No path between A and B because if there is a path, if I say there is a path between A and B, say this is some, some connectivity is there, okay. And from here to, say this has got some connectivity, suppose. Suppose, suppose there is a path. If there is a path from A to B, this is my path, suppose. Then that will have an edge connecting a vertex from V1 to uh, vertex from V2. That's, that, is, uh, that is against my assumption that there is no edge in G whose one end vertex belongs to V1 and another end vertex belongs to V2. Therefore, there is no path. This condition is not there. That's why if there is no path between the vertex A to B, then there is no path between the vertex at V1 to V2. Therefore, the graph G has to be disconnected. It has to be disconnected. I'll explain once again. I'm taking a second part now. I'm taking vertex set V into two partitions V1, V2 such that no edge in G whose one end vertex is in V1 and another end vertex in V2. Okay, this I have taken. I have to prove if that is the case, then G is disconnected. Okay, for that, let me take two partitions V1 and V2. Let me take a vertex A in V1 and vertex B in V2. What I claim is there is no path between A and B because if there is a path between A and B, then my graph will contain one edge one edge which joins from which joins between these two sets v1 and v2 okay means there is one edge whose one end vertex is in v1 and another end vertex is in v2 but that should not be the case because i have already mentioned v1 v2 disjoint v1 v2 are disjoint means there is no edge in g whose one end vertex is in V1 and another end vertex in V2. Therefore, what I claim is true, there is no path between A and B. If at all there is a path, then it violates my uh, intake itself, which I have taken that there is no edge joining V1, V2. Therefore, if there is no edge between them, then graph has to be disconnected. Okay, then converse part is disconnectivity should imply disconnectivity should imply the partitions V1, V2 such that no edge in V1, um, I mean no edge in G whose one end vertex is in V2 and another end vertex in V1. Okay, so I'll take up graph G as disconnected now. This is the converse part, okay. If G is disconnected, means if G is disconnected graph, between the vertices A and B, since if it's a connected, then if there are two vertices, say A and B, A and B, then there is no path between them, okay? Disconnected means there is, there are some vertex, between them there is no path, so let me take those two vertices as A and B, between them there is no path, okay? Now consider the vertex set V1 such that in V1 all the vertices are joined by a path. 
I'm considering vertex set V1. Okay. In that set, all the vertices are joined by some path. Okay. They are joined by a path. So, if this is my vertex A, then vertex V1, vertex set V1, in that all the vertices are joined by some path and joined to vertex set, vertex A. Okay. And the remaining vertices in the graph, let me take it as V2. Okay. So, here is B. I am taking two partitions, okay. I have to prove that they are two partitions. But I am considering one set V1, set of all those vertices, which are joined to A by some path. And the remaining vertices in my vertex set, V2. Now, both V1 and V2 are non-empty. One condition is true. Non-empty, of course, because... Graph is disconnected. So, there are, there has to be two components at least. So, one component has a vertex A and another is vertex B because that is how I have taken V1. Okay. V1 is set of all those vertices which are connected to A by some path and the remaining vertices I am taking it as vertex V2. So, V1 and V2 are non-empty. So, one, my, one of my condition is proved now. Of course, they are non-empty because the graph is disconnected. So, it has to have at least two components. One component is set of all the vertices which are joined to A by a path. Okay. Now, no vertex in V1 is joined to any other vertex in V2 by an edge because if there is an edge from V1 to V2 if there is an edge if there is an edge from V1 to V2 then both the end vertices are connected to vertex A so when, when there is a edge here then the both the end vertexes vertices are connected to vertex A. Hence, that this vertex also belongs to V1, which is not true since I have taken, they are different. Since I have taken V1 as set of all those vertices which are connected to A by a path and the remaining vertices in vertex set V2. So, if there is a path, if there is an edge, which joins a vertex from V1 to vertex V2, then that vertex also joined to set V1 only. But that should not, that is not the case. So, V1 and V2 are the, or V1, V2 form a partition in G. Partition in G. So, Thus, I can say graph G is disconnected if and only if its vertex set V can be partitioned into two non-empty disjoint subsets V1, V2 such that there exists no edge in G whose one end vertex is in V2 and another end vertex is in V2.